So in this video we're going to talk about summarizing data and there's going to be one of several parts so we'll call this part one and we're going to use the sales transaction data file the Excel file that has a lot of information in it and we're going to focus on the region column but first let's take a look at this data so this data has a number of different features. It has customer ID, region, payment, transaction code, source, amount, product, and time of day. So each row is one transaction. Uh, we have a customer ID, we have the region where the customer came from, how they paid, PayPal or credit, the unique transaction code, uh, the source of the transaction, whether it came from web or email, the amount, what product is in the transaction, and what time of day the transaction was completed. And these are different types of variables. There are categorical variables and um, numerical variables. For example, the region variable is categorical, while the amount variable is numerical. So here's an outline of what we're going to do. We're going to understand what is categorical data and we're going to talk about how to summarize categorical data and one way of doing that is using a frequency table another way of doing that is to create a relative frequency table and then a graphical summary of a data could be a bar chart of these tables so what is categorical data? categorical data is non-numerical and for example it could be color blue, red, orange, or product, books or DVDs, or region, east, west, north, south. And more specifically, these categorical data are called nominal because there's no inherent order in the individual values. So east doesn't come before west, or west doesn't come before east. There is no natural order here. In a later video, we'll talk about ordinal categorical data that has, that has order. Okay, so let's focus in on the word frequency. What does frequency mean? Frequency basically tells us the count. So how many transactions are from the eastern region? And the answer would be the number of transactions or the count. So if I go back to my Excel here, I see that my region has a bunch of different values. And so what we can do is we can just count the ones that come from east. Here's one, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one, etc. But of course, this is very time consuming. Ultimately, what I'd like to have is I'd like to have a frequency table where the first column is region and the rows are the different regions in my table and then the second column will be the frequency or the count and here we're going to have the numbers that correspond to how many transactions came from the east, west, south, north respectively. Now there's an automated way of doing this in Excel and that is the use of pivot tables. So, to create a pivot table, you want to first create a table um, of the data. So, I go to Insert, Table, and it automatically selects the data that is in my table. So, it selects columns A through H and rows 1 through 473. So, let me just make sure it's done that. Yes, the last row is 473, so that's, it looks like it's selected everything. And since this this table has headers, customer ID, region, payment. We want to make sure that the My Table Has Headers checkbox is checked. So if I click OK, a number of things happen. Um, it reformats the table and makes the headers bold, and it creates these little arrows here that I can click on to filter my data. So, but now that we have a table, we can give this table a name. It's called Sales, and then create a pivot table. To do that, go back to Insert, Pivot Table, make sure the correct table is selected in the first part, 
and we're going to place this pivot table in a new workbook or new worksheet so that's selected I click on OK and it brings me here in a new worksheet and it has a pivot table which is blank let's zoom in there okay now if I click anywhere in this pivot table I get these pivot table fields on the right and these are the field names that came from my table what I'm interested in is region so I'll click and drag that to make rows of the different values as you can see that's already populating my pivot table I'll change this column to region and then what I'd like to do I'd like to calculate the values to be the sum of the region so the, the actual values have nothing to do with any of the other fields except region and the default if I click and drag the region here it default is just gonna count okay and so as you can see it's counted 98 transactions from the east 85 from the north etc if I right click go to field settings I can give this a better name maybe call it frequency and there you go so if I want to record this I can go back to my paper here and write down 98 for the count for east 85 for the count for north uh, 99 for the count for south and 190 or no mine is a different mine is a different uh, or order isn't it I have to be careful here I put these in a different order so the east is 98 that's right the west is 190 the south is 99 and the north is uh, 85 there we go so the next thing we want to do is talk about relative frequency and what relative frequency does is it takes the percentage of transactions from each of these values okay so for example to figure out the relative frequency for the east I take the frequency and divide it by the total and to get the total of course what you would do is you would just add all the frequencies together if I add these up then the total is 472 which is also displayed in my pivot table so I would here take the 98 and divide it by 472 and the value I would get would be my relative frequency okay so in this case 98 divided by 472 is about 20 one percent okay and I could do the same thing for west south and north luckily there's an automatic way to do this with pivot tables again so I can go to insert pivot table and what I'll do is I'll select my sales table so I can just write sales here and I'll do it in an existing worksheet so I'll click here click here so that my pivot table ends up being there click OK and once again I have a pivot table a blank pivot table with my field names I'm going to start by dragging the region in the rows and again in the values of course the default is the count we don't want that so we're going to do a little bit of customization here right click field settings show data as so what we want to show the data as is a percentage so under show data as I'm gonna look at the drop down here and look at percent of grand total click OK and it's going to give you those percentages so we'll call this relative frequency okay so there you have it these are two tables that summarize uh, the region variable in my sales transaction data set so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a bar chart which is a way of summarizing these tables so first we'll talk about how to summarize the frequency table so the horizontal axis here is going to have the category values so east north south and west and 
what we're going to have here is we're going to have rectangles or vertical bars that look like this. Well, vertical bars that look like this. So here's the one for east, the one for north, the one for south. Um, and the one for west. Oops. Okay, that's better. And then the vertical column is going to have the frequencies. And maybe we can even give the horizontal, we can just call it region here. And so the height of these, the height of this rectangle is basically going to be the count for that category, which is 98. And for example, the height for this one would be 190. Okay, so this isn't very accurate. But we can do this in Excel very quickly and have a more accurate version of this. So I'm going to select my uh, pivot table that has the frequency in it. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to go to this one, 2D column, and that automatically gives me the chart. Okay? And you can customize the title, and you can add row and column. Here we can go to Design, and we can quickly add a bunch of things here. Okay, and so we can have the axis title to be region, the axis title for the vertical to be frequency, and we don't need a, a legend because this is just um, this is just one variable. We can even add a title for the chart, and maybe we can call it sales transactions region and there is a frequency bar chart a frequency distribution by bar chart I can do the same thing by selecting the information in the relative frequency pivot table and now your vertical axis is percentages um, and again you can customize this just like the other one to have a more descriptive title and describing the axis vertical and horizontal respectively I hope you enjoy this video. In the next video, we'll talk about some other ways of summarizing data.